when you look at the quest list, it is pretty overwhelming. And like, every time I come across something new, I'm like, oh, that would make a great quest. And I add it on to the, to the bottom of the list. Um, so originally we had, hey, you got to do 80% of these. And we've changed it now to you need 23 tech objectives, 23 method objectives, and five badges as part of the criteria of what an A student looks like. Um, but what, it's not a list of assignments. It's really not. And so that's why it's very important that you read the quest list every week, that you look through them all and think carefully. And again, this is an introductory class, so don't think it has to be something big. It might be something small. And we probably did it in class. So any particular class session, there should be several quests that you can turn in every week. And we're expecting you to turn in quests pretty much every week. So you should be looking through and seeing what you can do. But again, it's not a list of assignments. So we encourage you to combine things together. So you demonstrate a methods objective by using technology. Because remember, technology supports our methods. It supports our pedagogy. So anything you're doing with technology has to be in the context of teaching anyway, or it doesn't count. You can't just make a random QR code. The QR code has to be something that has either purpose for this class or purpose for the class that you're going to teach when you have your own classroom. Um, so you should be able to knock out two birds with one stone just on that one alone. So anything you're doing, try and see how many things you can combine together, that you can have one activity that would use these technologies and these methods and maybe just four or five things all at once which would be great. We do not need you to do, you know, uh, 23 plus 23 is 46. Uh, we don't need you to do 46 separate things. You know, it could just be 20 things that multiple stuff's going on, that it's more complex. Great. That would be perfect. And when you do the lesson plan activities, they're going to cover a whole bunch of quests anyway. So really look carefully. You're like, hmm, did we do that in the lesson plan? Probably you did. So again, it doesn't have to be something big. Many of them, it's an introductory class and at an introductory level. Most of them are satisfied with the lesson plans and just the stuff we do in class every day.